Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 17 part video series showing you how to create a Hyundai car dealership. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new, drop down, and then select architecture template, and then press OK. So we start off at level one. Here is the elevation tags. And before we start anything else, we should save so let's save it to the location that we want to. So I've I'm I'm saving it to uh, the location that I want to. I put in the name car dealership. But before I click save, click on the op option first. And then here, it's giving you maximum backups of 20. So basically, um if you save, they're going to be save number 1, 2, 3 up to 20. Um most of the time, you do it if you're a beginner, so that you can go back to any save um, um, timeline that you uh, did, and then you can recover the file. But for me, if you're intermediate or if you're good, you can put it at one or you could just put it at five just to be sure. So it's better to just keep it around one to five. So now press OK and then click on save so now that it's saved um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to architecture and then click on grid uh, or you could type in GR so if you type GR you'll be able to add the grid line instantly you don't need to click on the um, icon um, and also it's faster if you gonna do it like that so now uh, we have the elevation tag right here and most of the time we put it in the middle so the grid line in the middle so that our model is around in the middle the reason for that is this elevation tag is the view so that um, all our elevation will be shown to those specific elevations. so this is north south east and west so most of the time, if you need more room, you could just select that and then drag it ar ar along to where its axis is. So now, I'm just going to add this grid line first right here. It will create number one grid line like so. And then click at the top. You can press escape and then escape again. Now we have number one grid line right here. and if we just copy this, uh, Revit will recognize the sequence. So it will create number two, three, and four, depending if you're going to put it on the left side or the right side. Most of the time, it's on the right side. So now you can um, select th that grid line, number one, type in CO. So basically, CO is copy. That's the uh, keyboard shortcut. Uh, or if you go, um, in modify this is the icon that you need to click um, usually you will need to click on multiply so that you don't need to click keep on clicking copy so here I'm just gonna check multiply so that I could instantly add multiple grid lines at the same time so here this is the number one grid line I'm gonna select that again and then I'm gonna drag it on the right side because I want it on the right side to be added so now I can type in um, the dimension so here I'm gonna put 11172 it will create number two grid line 6746 then next is 7015 14535 and then here we need to add more space so zoom out and then go on the right side and make sure this is 90 degrees nothing is um, 
creating so that cre uh, that different um, degree sign there. So next, uh, we are at number five. Next will be sixth. So zoom out, put it on the right side. That's one four four three four, and then ten six three two. And then lastly, five three three eight. So we have all that grid line right here. We can press escape and then escape again. So we created eight grid lines. And then now, if you notice, we have our east elevation right here. So we just need to select that and then you can just drag it there. You can also move it if you want. So here we're going to move this north. So you could use move command MV or you could just drag it depending on what you want as long as you do it. So here, press escape, select that one, you could just drag it. So multiple ways to do it. So now let's do the um, horizontal grid line. Um, for this one, I want I know we're gonna extend it a lot so we're gonna start at the top right here and just going down so type in GR again that's grid line and then here we go from right to left so this is the left side and we could just extend this um, west elevation later on. We could press escape and then escape again. Zoom in and then here from 8 it will start with 9. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that grid bubble and then let's type in capital A. So from there now Revit will recognize that and it will create a grid line A up to B once we add it again. Here, I'm just going to select that and then I'm going to move it a little bit on the left side. So we have enough space to work around here. So now, um, let's select this A grid line and then click on copy. And then multipl uh, multiple is checked already because that's the last thing that we did. So it recognized the, uh, the previous selection that we did. So you don't need to check it again. Grab this one and then pull it below. And then now we start typing in 4947 8289 Seven nine two five. Again, we're going to move some stuff right here. So here, I mistakenly um, press escape, but don't worry. We could just continue again. So this is F going to G. So I'm gonna just gonna select that again, and then pull it down. So now it's. 6669 and 10, 5, 61. So that's the last thing. It should be M grid line. And then now, as you can see, we need to move this south elevation. So I'm just going to grab that and then move it right about here. And then here, we could just center this out. This is around the center of the model. So I'm just grabbing it and then trying to center it so that the view will still see 
everything that is um, in front of it because if you leave the um, elevation tags right about here um, if we do anything right here if we create something it won't see uh, anything that's behind it so now if you notice uh, we need to pull this one down as well so I'm gonna click on one of them and if you notice if you click one of them it will have this dash on the bottom so basically that dash in the bottom indicates that once I move this everything will move so that's very convenient for us because we need to move everything all at once so that's good and then that's uh, what makes our life easy so here I'm gonna pull this one up again as we're going to add in some dimension so I'm just giving it some space in order for us to add dimension so here I'm gonna click on dimension align dimension or you can type in di di usually we add dimensions on every um, grid lines so here I'm just adding each and every one of them and then give it an overall so as you can see we added all of that and then here we need to add all of them as well so every dimension we need to add and then pull it right here and then give the overall as well zoom in and everything is good everything is um, created too so next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to our elevations I'm gonna start by clicking on south elevation and then from here as you can see we still need to fix some stuff so here I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna move it right around here I want my levels from the grid lines to be all um, crossing each other out so here it was right here we need to pull it out so that everything is will be being seen so now right here we're gonna have level 1 up to level 2 around 4000 select that we could copy uh, so difference between copy so here I'm gonna create a copy of level 2 and then we can type in at 4000 and then level 3 was created but it's not in our floor plan right here so what we need to do again in order for that to show is view and then here plan views floor plan and then here select level 3 and it will create level 3 and as you can see we have level 3 right there another way of creating levels if we go to architecture beside grid line or grid is level so you can type in LL the difference between this and that is here once we add the other level the only problem is that we need to add this one perfectly so here 4000 and then here we need to grab it and add it again so here we have 4 8 12 those are the heights that we need press escape and the level 4 is already added so those are the difference between copy and using level uh, both has pros and cons um, I usually like to create the copy command it's because what if you have multiple levels like this one it's very hard to just do it manually like that level by level you need to click click and um, click right here 
to just add um, multiple if you just do copy it's very easy you just need to copy you can type it you can even um, do array of that so here we could select that one now um, if you notice um, one of the reason why um, if we go to level 3 and some of the grid line is not showing the reason for that is um, if we go to your elevation it's not crossing out on the elevation vertical and horizontal so those uh, grids are not crossing to the level so if we pull this one up now if we notice level 3 it has its elevation now but if you notice there's no horizontal grid line now we need to investigate other elevations so probably in each elevation this is not crossing out as well so you need to fix that and pull that one and then after that if you check so here in east we need to pull it up again pull it up and if we check it this will appear because everything is crossing out so the only thing you need to do is double check each and every one of your levels each and every one of your elevations making sure that everything is um, crossing out if not just extend it so that every level all the grids are showing so now just double checking everything south is good east north and west if we check level 3 everything is showing and if we check level 4 everything is showing as well so that's one of the reason why some of you guys are messaging me uh, how come this is not showing that's the uh, troubleshoot or the solution for that so now we opened so much already uh, I want to clean it out so to clean it fast you just need to select this one close inactive views and only the the one that you selected is the one that is open and then now um, if you want to add the grid bubble on the ends as well the only thing you need to do is select each and every grid like that and check show bubble the only problem with this is you need to do it individually like so haven't seen anything that has a solution but at least once you do this you'll be able to um, see all of your grid lines you don't need to investigate where is your what's your location especially like this one this project is massive so we need all the help that we can get we need all the in the identification coordination that we have so that uh, once I say that oh you need to place this one on this grid line you'll be able to um, add it instantly so that's the only tedious part of this one is by adding all those grid lines and then unfortunately it's not something that will be added on other levels but you could do that by yourself offline um, I, I'm maybe I'm gonna do that but for now at least it's something that I showed you how to uh, do and then it's up to you if you're gonna add it so thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below